morning, guys. Wake up, and good luck on this, your last mission. Well done. And uh, thank you for that message. Uh, people all around the world love uh, Paul McCartney's music, and boy, he can rest assured that people all above the earth uh, love his music, too. So thank you for saying that. We really appreciate him uh, taking time out of his busy schedule to send us a message. Uh, so good morning to all you, too, Houston. And good morning to you, Atlantis. And while I have you, just a couple of words. The execute package is on board and printing. Your go to change out the image cards in the KFX machine. Your go for Outlook, and have a good day. All right, thanks, Sharon. You guys have a good day today, too. We will. Okay, I'm Shannon Lucent there talking with uh, Mission Specialist Rex Walheim after a wake-up uh, song and message from... Uh, Paul McCartney this time, wishing the crew good luck on their final mission. That uh, message was recorded pre-flight for the final shoot crew of, a space sh of the Space Shuttle program. This was not the first time that that song has been the wake-up call. It was uh, used to wake up the crews of STS-121 and 128 as well. And in 2005, uh, it was played live by Paul McCartney for the Expedition 12 crew aboard the International Space Station. That was the first ever concert link up to the space station. And uh, during it, he played not only Good Day Sunshine, but also English Tea as well. Beatles songs have a long history being used as wake up, uh, wake up songs for space missions. Hard Day's Night was played during the shuttle mission STS-30. Uh, birthday by the Beatles woke up the crew of STS-52. That was for Mike Baker on his 39th birthday. Um, with a little help from my friend and a Hard Day's Night was played for the shuttle crew on STS-61 in December of 1993. And parodies of the Beatles' Hello, Goodbye, and Lay Your Head on My Shoulder woke up the shuttle crew of STS-71. Birthday was played again for Tom Hendrick's 44th, 44th birthday during STS-78, and uh, Here Comes the Sun was used during STS-97, and again during STS-108. Then uh, Paul McCartney's song with the wings, uh, You Gave Me the Answer, was played during STS-112, and then Here Comes the Sun, twice in a row, uh, STS-116 and STS-127, and Good Day Sunshine again, STS-121, STS-128, and now STS-135. Today's wake-up call again came at 11.59 p.m. Central Time, waking the crew up for flight day eight. <laughs> 